It was trademark Vladimir Putin. Appearing on stage in a marathon interview forum today, the Russian leader surprised the audience in English. Don't worry, be happy. Invoking the 80s singer Bobby McFerrin, sarcastically describing the anger around President Trump's decision to pull out of the Paris climate change agreement. But in his native tongue, the former Soviet spy turned politician was far less sunny, continuing to deny Russian interference in the U.S. presidential election, while attacking former candidate Hillary Clinton, saying her campaign just can't admit its own mistakes caused her loss. They decided to say, it's not our fault, it's the Russians' fault. It's like anti-Semitism, to blame the Jews for everything. We all know what this can lead to, nothing good. At the same time, Putin spoke admiringly of Donald Trump's successful campaign. The Trump team was more effective during the election campaign. He found an approach to the electorate that worked for him. But he wasn't done there. On the heels of his comment on Thursday that Russian, quote, patriots, not the Russian government, might have hacked the U.S. election, Putin gave another denial, referring to U.S. intelligence reports on the hacking. I read these reports. There is nothing specific in these reports, just assumptions and conclusions. And he denied any discussions about sanctions between his government and the incoming Trump administration. Tonight, analysts say Putin is looking for deniability, trying to prevent investigators from tracing any alleged interference in the election directly to him. But at the same time, they say, it appears he's loving the attention and the strife inside the U.S. political system. He now has a president who wants to have better relations with Russia. Uh, he has a scandal that has weakened the U.S. president. And he has a U.S. president who is busy lecturing his best allies about climate and about NATO. So there's lots of things that Putin is enjoying about the current crisis. Vladimir Putin also came to the defense of the man who works for him here in Washington, Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, who's at the center of investigations into Trump's aides' contacts with the Russians. Putin said, quote, our ambassador met with someone. What's the ambassador supposed to do? He must do that. He said reports of secret deals before the inauguration are plain hysteria. And, quote, how should we stop that? Take a pill or something? We also reached out to Hillary Clinton's representatives for response to his comments about her campaign. They declined to comment.